And we're back here on the Medicine Ball Caravan, KRVS, and uh, it's that time of uh, that time of the day and the time of the uh, the year. It's our fourth and final holiday on the caravan segment, and uh, g- glad to have with me uh, joining me, me in the Cypress Lake Studios today are John O'Frischberg and, and Katie Reese, and uh, welcome both. Welcome to you guys. Thank welcome. you. Glad, glad to be here. How's it going, Cecil? Very good, John. I haven't seen you in in quite some time, man. It's been years. And, uh, you know, we go back, I mean, we, you know, Johnny, you've been, you've been basically here as a, as a local musician, you know, but, you know, basically mastering in fiddle, accordion, and, uh, and, you know, and since then I've become a, a, a music instructor from, you know, we've been spending time doing that. Basically, I, I love your, uh, you know, I, I think you have a, um. Uh, a, a, a sort of motto you're dedicated to making nice sounds and and, <laughs> and helping others do the same yeah you're right I, I remember that mission statement i wrote that down um some you know like it, it, when prompted right you know it's like uh facebook uh like what's on your mind like deer in the headlights uh or like <laughs> you know what what do you put here and but that's about it, you know, and it is, it's a life dedicated to making pleasing sounds and sharing that with others and helping others to, to do that. Well, you've been doing a great job, like I said, but, you know, I first, I first uh, knew you, of course, dating back to Steve LaFleur, Ma <coughs> Moo, back in the, in mm-hmm. the, the late eighties, man, getting it, you know, uh, uh, kind of rocking out French music, one of, the, one of the first bands doing that through the years, a uh, member of Shadavari and countless, countless other projects. And, uh, and and Katie, I haven't seen you in a bit. How have you been? What have you been up to lately? I've been great. I moved back to Lafayette uh, two years ago, and I've just been making a lot of music and super happy to be back in this this culture that I missed so much. My family had moved to Nashville in 2010. Um, we took a little hiatus from Nashville and lived in New Orleans for part of 2015. Mm-hmm. Then went back to Nashville, but my heart was in southwest Louisiana, and I was longing <laughs> very much to be back. And um, so, yeah, yeah, and you know, and Jono and I got engaged, so that's what I've been up to. <laughs> we, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was about I'm about to ask, how did you two team up? But it sounds like you two te- really we, have we, teamed up. We have teamed up. We have teamed up. Teamed up. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a uh, all across the board partnership. Um, we met. I was at a gig at Bon Ton Grill playing with the Jono Trio, uh-huh. with probably like Gina Forsyth and Jimmy Bro, and, mm-hmm. and uh, I, you know different folks. I do that with Forrest and Randy, all kinds of folks, and. Um, so Todd Mouton showed up with uh, Sam Broussard and this person I didn't know, and, you know, and um, they introduced us. <laughs> well, uh, when, Todd when, did. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we, we were just like going to go eat. And then Todd starts blowing up my phone. Jono Frischberg is here. This is so great. Jono, Jono, Jono. I'm like, who's Jono? <laughs> but that's, that's what started it was yep. that, uh, yeah, you we, know. we had, uh, did not know each other. Oddly enough, knew all the same people. I mean, Shadi Bari was recording a record <clears throat> with Tony Daigle at the same time that Langelous was. That's true. And we didn't run into each yeah. other, you know, at that little downtown loft studio that mm-hmm. he had. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it is um, it is wild, but we're we're grateful for the timing, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm grateful. The timing is now. <laughs> well, the timing is now, and I'm, I'm grateful that, that the two of you made time uh, at this late point, oh. so close to to the big <laughs> to the big day. And we're going to get into some uh, to some uh, some holiday music. What did you bring for us today, man? Well, when when Megan uh, reached out to me, she was wondering if I knew any like klezmer or Hanukkah music because you know, hey, you know, like I got the Jewish name and right. I'm half Jewish. Um, so I thought, well. Uh, a little bit, you know, and uh, so uh, we uh, we did like kind of, you know, brush off a couple classics here that people do sing at a Hanukkah. I have been to Hanukkah parties before. In fact, we went to uh, my old neighbors uh, in New Orleans the other day and went to a Hanukkah party and ate latkes and, you know, um, sang a few songs and it's a lot of fun. It's great. They lit the menorah. And, yeah, and I love Christmas. I love Christmas music, you know. It's like definitely... Um, all of it. So, but for you guys today, we're going to focus on the uh, more of the Jewish tradition, All right. some Hanukkah music. Um, you ready for a tune? Or I'm ready. All right, we're going to start nice. with a uh, very like fun. It's like a kid's song, really. It's very simple. It's called a dreidel, 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 and we're going to do it with the sparkly Creole accordion. <laughs> All right. And the fiddle too. Yes. Yeah, both. <laughs> we're <exactly>. featuring sparkle. <laughs> Thank you. 
dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. When it's dry and ready, my dreidel I will play. Dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, my dreidel I will play. Listening to the sounds of Jano Frischberg, Katie Reese, we're getting to some some Hanukkah sounds here on the Medicine Ball Caravan, and and today is a holiday on the caravan, and we've got some more stuff. What you got else got, got for us, Jano? All right, this is another very traditional, uh, at least in America, um, Hanukkah uh, Hanukkah song about lighting the menorah, and the menorah is the you know traditional light a candle each of the eight nights of Hanukkah, and you kind of do like a you try to like hang out during that time and you know um have fun you know and there's little games and food and and it uh you know celebrates the victory of of of, of getting back their uh land you know from some of the people that took it over pushing the syrians out or whatever at the time and the, like re re uh rededicating the temple and well, as one of our yeah. friends said the other night at the hanukkah party um, most Jewish celebrations are, they didn't kill us, so let's right. eat. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. They tried to kill us, but they didn't succeed, they so did. let's eat. Let's it's eat. a very... Uh... <laughs> Everyone can relate to that. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it's, uh, I think the Cajuns can relate to that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> there's some overlap there. <laughs> Light the menorah. Let's have a party. We'll all dance the horror. Gather round the table. We'll give you a treat. Savvy on to play with and like us to eat. And while we are playing, candles are burning low. One for each night, they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. One for each night, they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. Come light the menorah Let's have a party We'll all dance the horror 
gather round the table, we'll give you a treat. Sivion to play with and like us to eat. And while we are playing, candles are burning bright. One for each night, they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. One for each night, they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. Amazing! <laughs> it's it's so Jewish and so Cajun. Wow. You got that right. Man. It's because it's it's compliments of the urban swamp legend John o. Frischberg. There you go. And that's who we have here in the studio, along with Katie Reese. And uh, we've got our great uh, uh, Hanukkah on the caravan today. Uh, so loving it, guys. You got got at least one more to lay on. Sure. Us? What we'll do now is uh, the the story behind this song is when I was touring with uh, Shadivari. We, uh, we did a lot of work in the Northeast, and we, did, uh, we used to play at uh, the Ashokan fiddle and dance camps um, and uh, teach there and stuff, and it was such a great period, you know, for me. And, of course, uh, there's a lot of Jewish people there, and um, one time uh, I met a woman who, uh, her name was Isabel Friesberg. Friesberg, it's almost the same as my last name. Yeah. And might might be related, for all I know. Uh, and... Um, came from her people came from Ukraine my people came from Ukraine uh Jay Unger's people came from Ukraine you know it's, it's really interesting oh, yeah, that's right. but uh we uh she showed me this cool song and I was like man I wonder if that could maybe become like a Cajun song somehow and I so I put some chords to it into a two -step. <laughs> and I showed it to uh Randy you know and Mitch and Randy wrote some words and it became the Cajun klezmer uh breakdown or whatever whoops and we uh we put it on a record uh, live at the Holiday Lounge, or no, it was a trip to the Holiday Lounge, which I'm sure, uh, Cecil, you can relate to. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so we'll do that for you if you want. It's called the uh, Cajun Klezmer Breakdown, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. You heard it here on the Medicine Ball Caravan, uh, our, our Hanukkah on the Caravan today, and wow, I mean, Ukrainian music at the same time. Hey, I could I could imagine Mitch getting into this big time. Dude, Whoa. he is so into it. When <laughs> Mitch is, he, when I met Mitch, I mean, and we were like, oh, like totally together for like six years. And I'd go stay at his house because I lived in New Orleans. I'd stay with him when I'd come play with, uh, play at Randall's, you know, <laughs> uh, or rehearse and stuff. And Mitch, uh, he was into like Persian music and all kinds of these cool like Middle Eastern scales, you know. So this yeah. is right up his alley, and he he just bit into it too, big time. He actually wrote some songs too around that time that really have that flavor. Actually, they could be they could be from the same tradition, like the knife fight reel. Right. Um, True. You know, uh, many of those those songs there. I mean, you know. You know like Mitch and you and uh, say Cedric Watson that's picked up uh, styles from from Haiti and all that. I'm, I'm loving the fact that that local musicians are are just you know the world is blending here. It's all it, it's it's uh, fusing even more and more as time goes on. Musically speaking, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely, and so close. To, I mean, we're so close to New Orleans here, and New Orleans is technically technically in the the Caribbean. You know, yeah, and and 
you know, even when I was like back back when I was playing music with Pat Bro a lot, and we were playing these New Orleans tunes, you know, and um, like around here, I got introduced to New Orleans and music here because a lot of it leaked in, and there was like Mexican music. Just all, it's a very rich musical culture here. Uh, goes way back because it it's a crossroads in, in its own way. It's on the old Spanish Trail. You know, it's not far from these ports, and you know, it's, it's a it's a great place to uh, dig deep if you want to. Yeah. Certainly, certainly. Well, again, thanks so much for bringing this to the Medicine Ball Caravan today. It was a special treat. And look, everyone, have a great holiday and stay warm. Yeah, <laughs> stay yeah. warm. Stay, Happy stay, holidays, you guys. Stay warm and chill out.